Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you all the gear that I use for my travel videos. It may not be the ideal gear for everyone, but I would definitely recommend it to people who'd like to make videos either from Africa or from places that may not be 100% safe or from places that may not have electricity all the time. First of all, the camera. I'm using Panasonic G7. Now, this camera has a lot of disadvantages, but also a lot of advantages that surpass these disadvantages. Number one, the price. The camera is relatively cheap. It costs only around $400, and if you're shooting in places that may not be 100% safe, you don't want your $3,000 camera to be stolen. Number two, the weight. It's just not comfortable to carry a heavy camera when you're, for example, trekking or even if you're just walking in a busy market. I've tried vlogging with heavier cameras that may have a better video resolution or other qualities, but it just wasn't practical, especially not in places like Africa. For this reason, the G7 is the best option for me. Number three, the battery life. I honestly don't know a camera that can last a whole day except this one. I'm often without electricity, so if you have one or two extra batteries, you're good for two to three days without charging. Moving on to the lenses. 99% of the time I shoot with this lens. It's a Panasonic 7-14mm lens and I'm a huge fan of wide-angle lenses especially when it comes to travel vlogs because this way the audience can see the background better. They can see what's going on in the background, if it's a busy street or some beautiful nature and so on. For this reason I wanted the widest lens available and I ended up with this. The bad part about this lens is the price. As most wide angular lenses, this one was pretty expensive too and it cost $800. Uh, it's definitely the most expensive part of my gear, but there's just no other option. I'm also shooting the whole video on the wide angular lens, except the last part. The last part was shot on my second lens and it's this one. It's the most common lens for Panasonic cameras and it's the 14 to 42 mm lens. It's quite cheap and you can get it for around $200. Honestly, I used it only around three times. There haven't been many situations where this lens would be really necessary, but I think it's good to have this cheap other option, especially when it comes to time lapses and zooming. Next up is the microphone. When I was in Africa last year, I was using probably the most famous microphone of all vloggers and YouTubers, the Rode Shotgun Video Mic Pro. And it was such a pain in the ass. It's way too big, not practical at all. I had to change the battery twice. Trust me, it's not so easy to find a 9 volt battery in the middle of nowhere. And I forgot to turn it on so many times before recording that I said it was time to change it. So I bought this one. The Rode Video Micro. It's four times cheaper than the Video Mic Pro. It doesn't need a battery. And you simply plug it into the jack output and it's recording. Also, I wouldn't know the difference between the Video Micro and Video Mic Pro. To me, they're the same. The Video Mic Pro should be better, but honestly, I can't tell the difference. The last part of the basic vlogging setup is the tripod. Now, I didn't want to pay $70 for the popular Gorilla tripod, so I searched for a cheap Chinese alternative on AliExpress.com and I found this. I have no idea what's the name of this, but uh, it cost $14 and I've been using it for several months and it's great. You can attach it anywhere, it's kind of gummy and light and uh, I'm sure you can find it on AliExpress, just type tripod and you'll find it. Let's move on to these two things, the Osmo Mobile and my phone which is an iPhone SE. I intentionally hold these two at the same time because they make some sick things together. The Osmo Mobile is a stabilizer for mobile phones and the iPhone SE can make slow-mo videos at 120fps in full HD. This is a deadly combination and I'm able to make movie like b-rolls and slow-mo footage that take the vlogs into a whole new level. I also bought a base for the Osmo so I can make incredible motion time lapses. An extra battery is a must have for me because of the electricity issues that I mentioned earlier. An absolutely crucial part of my gear is a power bank. Now this allows me to charge my phone or Osmo mobile without electricity. I got this 12,000 mAh power bank from GoGen for Christmas and I can't be happier. 
and I use it mainly for charging my iPhone because the Osmo Mobile drains the phone battery really fast. Apart from one 64 GB SD card, I also have two 32 GB SD cards and a two terabyte external hard drive from WD Elements, which is an absolute necessity if you're shooting videos almost every day. Last but not least, the laptop. Now, this is not a paid promotion, but more of a review of a laptop that I got from Asus for these three months in Africa. Last year I brought my huge heavy laptop to Africa and it was the worst decision ever. So this year I was looking mainly for a light practical laptop with good battery life and Asus was kind enough to lend me the Zenbook UX 360C for testing. And after one month of using it I have to say I'm very impressed. The three aspects that I mentioned earlier are the biggest advantage of this laptop. It is incredibly light, thin, not too big but also not too small and you can make a tablet out of it. See? Now I have a tablet. Along with the 10 hour battery life, this is a great travel companion, especially during long distance journeys. There is one disadvantage of this laptop for me though, the performance. This laptop has the M3 Intel processor, which is not that great if you want to edit full HD or even 4K videos. So I do just the basic editing here, I save the file and I'll do the rest back home on my huge heavy laptop. But hey, this is mainly a comfortable travel business laptop, not a gaming one. I wanted to use it for idea and script writing anywhere and anytime and for that purpose this is the perfect machine. It's also not that expensive and again it hurts a bit less if somebody steals $700 than $3000 from you. I just hope nobody steals this from me because I need to return it to S's. So that's the gear I use for my travel vlogs. I always look for three most important aspects. Comfort, price and quality output and I believe that this is the perfect setup regarding these three aspects. I hope you liked this video. If you have any recommendations or questions, I'll be glad to discuss it with you in the comments below. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.